Hey everybody, what's up? It's Samster once again on the uh, 8 Hazel Entertainment channel. Um, of course, you do know this is my movie channel and whatnot for all the movies, um, mostly the ones I made. But, um, you know, we do have a playlist thing of uh, Hometown Hero. And we were going to upload Jason Versus. Haven't found the video yet. Of course, that's Howard Films' movie, which is now, I think, Beans Entertainment. I'm not even sure. Um, but. This one's about Saving Spawn. I know I did a video before about Saving Spawn 2 and stuff. Um, really, now thinking about it, um, since Saving Spawn 1, you know, okay, here's a little history lesson. It was the first attempt, which was in 2003. Um, I think that was done somewhere around after Harvard, Transylvania or something. Real World Transylvania, I mean. Um, around there, yeah, I think it was after or during or I don't completely remember, but it was around then, you know, whatever. Um, so, you know, I had some ideas for the movie. I don't think I really wrote much down for it, but we had some scenes planned out. Um, there was a lot of mistakes in that movie, in that attempt really um first off my sister she played how many different she played like two or three different characters which was bad no two two she um originally was uh i think we called her quarter penny she was supposed to be like the secretary like in savings bond uh money penny and q's characters were kind of like combined it's one person because we didn't really have an office type setting where we had different offices and you know what I'm saying we didn't have stuff like that so I figured you know at least we could get one place to sort of look like an office or something and just have one person so we only have to worry about one room we don't have to change it up uh, it was called quarter penny and probably in the remake or whatever I'm gonna change that but she played that role where she would you know basically be my boss and tell me what to do and be like oh, okay da -da 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 -da. but the weird thing was I think we had a scene where there was a phone and she picked it up and said oh okay then you got a mission to go here or whatever it wasn't really planned that great and of course I was the bad guy I'm, an, I'm the bad guy in the second attempt too I did that um, to give it a little bit of an Austin Powers feel because it's it's mostly a James Bond spoof, but then again, it's kind of like, it was, it's kind of a spoof, but then again, it's kind of not. It's more like a fan film, I guess you could say. Um, that kind of stuck around with me being the good guy and the bad guy. Um, but my sister also was sort of, I guess you could say, like the secretary or one of the, the henchmen, henchwoman, whatever you want to call it for the bad guy, Dr. Bad. Um, yeah, and then, of course, Joey had, like, uh, Joey Beans had two characters. He was, uh, you know, the Gadgets guy. We called him A. Um, I actually like the scene where he's rating the stuff and then he gives out the gadgets. I actually like that better than the second attempt. Although, the second attempt, he did have a lab coat-looking thing, and that actually looked cool. If you could kind of combine the two scenes, it would have been, you know, right on point. Um... We'll get to the second one in a minute, but that scene was good, but then of course there was a scene where Dr. Bed was in the evil lair or whatever, which was I think Joey's basement. In a lot of our movies we use that 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 room for a lot of things. You know? I think we use that in almost every movie except um, Stranded of course. And to be I think we even used it in Hometown Hero at least once. Um Joy's character played as the A, the gadget guy, and then he also was supposed to be one of Dr. Bed's uh, thug guys, or the son, or I forget how it was. I think he might have been the son, kind of paying another tribute to Austin Powers. Um, I didn't really like that scene because I didn't bring my uh, the outfit for Dr. Bed, and I wound up just putting my sweater on, and it looked really stupid. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I, you know, like I said back then, we didn't have the cars and everything, so it wasn't as easy to transport stuff. Um, 
And of course, the first one we didn't finish because I started realizing after a while the way my hair looked. You know, I had I had um, I had the signs in the back cut, sort of like how I do now. Um, you know, this like that all the way around. You know, Hardy Boy style, whatever. Um, except I had a short on top and it was blonde and it was spiky. And at the time, I was kind of after a while, it's like you know, that doesn't really really look like. A James Bond type thing, but the funny thing is now James Bond Daniel Craig has blonde hair, so I mean not like that, but you know whatever. So uh, that one, the first attempt wasn't finished. There was a lot of things wrong with it. We were very limited to stuff. So a couple years later, 2006, we tried to make um, another attempt. Um, this one had issues too. Um, a lot of the scenes were kind of worse, you know, like I said, the casino scene, was I've said it before, it was bad. Um, a scene, I didn't really like as much as the first one, but there were some things I liked about it, like I said, the lab coat was cool. He had a little assistant, which was his sister, but from what I remember, she kept laughing and stuff. Um, we had the bar scene, one of my favorite scenes, uh, with my friend Duff. In there, uh, he was also in the original, but what was weird was he played as a kind of cat, uh, some guy that would walk around and meow, and he was supposed to be like something to do with a the character, where I guess he was uh, he did something to this guy, and now he thinks he's a cat. I forgot what the whole thing behind that was. Um, it was just something stupid because I think Duff used to do that to make us laugh, and then I was just like, you know, it'd be kind of funny to put in the movie wasn't really a great idea, but having him as a, board ten a bartender guy was a lot better. Um, really good. He, he was supposed to be, you know, an Asian bartender, and he just went off and did his things because he's good with uh, voice acting. You know, I could have had him play other roles with being different voices, and it would have worked. Um, might do that in the remake. I'll definitely like for him to be in the remake. Um, the only thing is he's really busy with work and everything. I don't know if I can get him to do it, but he has been in a bunch of uh, movies. He's been in the original Savings Bond. He's been in the second attempt. What else? What else? Some other stuff. Um, another thing I didn't like about the second attempt to remake was the fact that it was only 10 minutes long after I chopped it all down. Um, a lot of the scenes, like I said, went bad, and I feel like we could have done more uh, to make it better. Um, and it, the movie was simply unfinished. Um, it wasn't supposed to end where it did. I was supposed to get up, like you see in the Savings Bond 2 trailer, or at the end of the credits, I get up, and it's like Savings Bond, we'll return, or whatever the hell I did. Um, originally, I was supposed to just get up and go, go after that girl, uh, Ava. Me and her were gonna mess around, and, you know, like typical James Bond thing, and I get information from her and find out the whereabouts of Dr. Bed, go after him, kill him, and then I guess me and her wind up together, and then the movie ends. It was supposed to be like that. But a lot of things happened towards the end, uh, around that time. We were supposed to film one more week, and then it would have been at least 90% done filming wise with all the scenes. Um, I don't remember what we planned to do, I think. We were supposed to do the scene when I get up and I find Ava and then I start messing around with her. That's what we were supposed to film from what I remember. And then somehow we are going to figure out how Savings Bond was going to confront Dr. Bed with me being both characters like in Austin Powers with uh, Mike Ma Michael Myers, Mike Myers as both. I was going to do that. It would have been in the pain in the ass, but it is possible. It's not that hard, really. Um, but... Uh, something happened between me and Joey at that time period, um, I think. Uh, unfortunately, around that time, I started smoking bud. So, at the time, I had to pick and choose, and unfortunately, I got stuck with that. And then, I, I started losing interest in the movie again because, like I said, I was still kind of limited. I didn't really have my car yet. Um... Really, I kind of some of the movies I made. I wish I waited till I had a car and everything. But then again, I wanted to make the movie so bad back then. 
Um, I didn't want to wait. But now, of course, we do remakes. Like I said, a remake to Stranded. Um, I do want to make a third remake to Savings Bond, possibly after the remake of Stranded, seeing how that goes. Um, Stranded would be a good way for me and Joy Beans to get back into like doing movies and directing and ideas and all that stuff because we haven't done it. When was the last one? The last one I think was actually, I think that was the last one. And then, you know, a whole bunch of ideas came up. We were supposed to do a Star Wars fan film because there's all these Star Wars fan films all over the internet with people with the lightsabers and costumes and I was just like, I want to do that. That was supposed to be another movie we were going to make, but we really didn't have the budget, and I was just dreaming on about something that couldn't be done at the time. Um, there was supposed to be a thing based on Survivor, which we were going to do like in Morgan's Park or somewhere. Um, there was a bunch of people that were signed up ready to go on this one, but I didn't do it. Uh, I forget why, I just... I guess I didn't have the car yet, you know, I was limited once again. That's what really messed up things for a lot of movies, but really, yeah, for horror films, their last movie was Hometown Hero for Eight Hills on Entertainment and The Savings Bond, so uh, I do want to keep going. Um, of course, now it'll be a little easier because I have, well, when I get the car back, it'll be easier travel, go to different places, look at places, you know, if we need to pick other people up to be in the movie, we could do that. Um, really the remake for Savings Bond, what I would like to see is um, a lot of better things. I always wanted to do a car chasing scene because that's in every James Bond movie. Um, either I would use my car or my sister's car or maybe if I get the Mazda or something, we could do that. Um, you know, I'm basically uh, Someone would be standing there, would probably have to shoot the thing a couple times and have, um, you know, I'll be driving my car and somebody would be out on the side on the road filming us and then, you know, we'd have to do a lot of shots on that. That's the only annoying thing, but if we had more than one camera, it'd be a lot easier because then we could have somebody sit in the passenger seat, film me driving, and then of course, the same thing with the bad guy. You gotta have somebody filming him, and then you gotta splice it all together, and then you gotta have somebody outside on the side of the road filming the cars going by, um, and maybe also the passenger cameras could also film, you know, out the window and film the car in front or the car behind, and just get all these different shots, add music to it, and it'll look pretty cool. Um, I would like to redo the casino scene as well. We'll get a lot more people in there and really do something really good with it um, you know actually get um, a guy that looks like a security guard as a security guard you know I could always maybe hit up somebody from Job Corps and they could wear the security outfit and <laughs> it would look legit um, you know Really, uh, what I gotta do is for each scene, I really gotta pay more attention to the Bond movies. You know, watch them. I've been taking notes on them and stuff. As to um, how you know how I gotta do every scene, how Bond does things. I mean, really, the Savings Bond Bond was kind of modeled after a little bit of Sean Connery and a little bit of Roger Moore. Um, the remake is going to have that, but also one of the sons, Daniel Craig, is the current Bond. I mean, the, and the other one also had a little bit of Brosnan in, Brosnan in there, too. But uh, the newer one, you know, I would like to make them a little bit more uh, sort of like Daniel Craig, where he's like, he could fight and he could beat people up, too. That'd be kind of cool. I always did want to make a fighting movie. Um, I think it was called Tournament of Death based on Mortal Kombat, but only there wouldn't be all these crazy characters, it would be more human-like characters set to a tournament, and it would be a lot of AWX wrestlers, that was the idea of how I could easily get people in, and it would basically be a fight tournament, um, where people, you know, where it's illegal, it's on the ground, and it's done somewhere else, but I don't know about that, we're going to have to wait until next year and see what happens, but Savings Bond 2, uh, remake. Hopefully it happens.